Hello fellow scientists, it's Mrs. KB, and we are here to start our new science unit. And this unit is called Plants and Animals. And today we're going to actually work on seeds. We're going to make some observations, just like what we did with our rocks, how we took a look at rocks and looked at the different properties. We're now going to take a look at seeds and see what they look like. And here are the seeds that you received, or some of them. These seeds here are called lima beans. And these lima beans is what we're going to be looking at over the next few weeks. Now, what I would like for you to do is you should have a copy of our experiment directions. And I'm going to go over that information with you. The goal here is to explore what seeds need to grow. So we're going to think about that for a moment, and then we're going to take a look at the different materials that we need. We need five small plastic bags, five lima beans, and so we're going to take a look over here and see that Mrs. KB has five plastic bags plus the one that the seeds came in, that I have my lima beans. I actually have more lima beans than I need but I do have the five. Great, then it asks for five paper towels. And these paper towels we're going to be used later on to wrap up our beans. Then it asks for two pieces of tape. So I have some tape and it asks for either a pen or pencil, something to write with, all right? And then it asks for, you need to have a window so we can hang one of the paper or the plastic bags in the window. We need a dark place somewhere in your house and a cold place in your refrigerator. Then we need four pieces of paper. So now this one you can print out if you would like. I made that for you. Um, and you can make your observations that way. But you know what? I always like to be creative and make my own. And so this is my booklet, all right? And I put a title on here. Notice the capitals with my title. And I put my name. Oops, one piece I forgot to do is to put down the year, 2020. And there you have it. I'm ready to go. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how we're going to get ourselves ready. And that would be now in our procedures. So I'm coming to the screen and we're going to look at what are the procedures in part one. Begin by carefully reading all of the directions before starting. Gather your materials, which we have. Select one bean for bag one, number one, and draw a picture of it. Now, I have done that in my booklet. I selected this bean, and in my booklet, you'll see that <clears throat> I wrote down day one, and I have a drawing, and I labeled, just like we labeled our rocks and showed the different properties, now I have here my bean, and I've labeled the color. I labeled the thickness of it. I made a description that it has wrinkles on it. I even drew that in. I said that it was hard. And I also marked something very unusual I discovered, that there is a white line, and on some of the beans, there's actually a triangle. Take a look, do you see that? Look at that. Kind of like an Audi belly button. There you go, and Here's the bean. And you can hear that it's hard because there it is. It is definitely hard. Okay, so I drew my um, observation and we're going to keep track of this one particular bean every day and see how it changes. So now what we're going to do is follow the directions and it says, label your bag with numbers one through five, then wet four paper towels. Wait a minute, four paper towels, I have five. Oh, keep reading. Wet four paper towels with water, keep one dry. And so, you know what, I'm gonna get 
started with reading this, place one lima bean in the center of each paper towel, cover the lima bean with the paper towel, and place one wrapped lima bean in e into a plastic bag. Note, the dry paper towel bean should go in bag one, I mean in bag two. So you know what, I'm gonna take care of that right away. Here's my bean, and I'm going to just wrap it up. I'm gonna fold it a couple times, and I'm gonna find number two, bag number two. Look at this, I even wrote on bag number two that it is dry. All right, so I'm slipping the bean right inside. And I'm just going to close this up. And I'm finished with number two. It's dry, there's just a bean, there's no water, and it's dry. Now. For bag number one, I'm going to dip in some the paper towel, get it nice and wet, and then I'm going to place it on top of the other paper towel so they can absorb some of the wetness. I'm going to put my bean right in the middle and kind of wrap it up, put the fold on top, one on the bottom. There, it's nice and soggy, and that will go into bag number one, wet. And I'm going to close this up. So now I have them in order. Bag number one, bag number two, and wow, bag number, or paper towel number three is almost wet. I'm going to make it a little soggier. Here we go. I'm going to pick up the next bean, put it inside. Again, I'm going to wrap it up. So this way the Paper towel wraps around and makes that bean nice and wet. And I'm thinking as I'm doing this, how does that make a science experiment? So far, I've taken my beans and I've put them into wet paper towels. Oh, wait a minute. Bean number two is in dry. There's a difference in my experiment right away. All right, getting down to the end. Here we go, I'm taking another bean, wrapping it up, and putting it right into the bag, keeping in order, bag number four. And my last one, here we go. Nice and soggy, and there we go, putting it into, this is the bean or the bag that all the seeds came in. Here we go. And now I have them all, all the beans are in their different bags. So I'm going back to my directions now. And you should reread all your directions to make sure that you have done everything correctly. Now I've done this a couple times, so I'm ready to move on. Part two, place bags one, two, and five in a sunny place inside your house. One, two, and five. Okay, I'm going to find a sunny place and I'm going to tape them to the windows. That's why I have the tape. And I'm going to take these and tape it up to a nice sunny window, probably on the southern side of my house or maybe the eastern side. Next, it says place bag three in a dark place inside my house. So here's number three. And um, a dark place, that means it doesn't get any light. So that would be someplace like in a drawer or a cabinet. So I'm actually going to go right up top here into the Winnie the Pooh cabinet. Whoops. Bring this down a little bit. And I'm going to put right inside. I know it's nice and bright right now, but when I close the door, there's no sunlight in there. So we're going to let that one go right in to a dark place. And then it says bag number four in a cold, dark place, the refrigerator. So I'm going to take bag number four go over to my refrigerator and put it inside. Now, 
inside my refrigerator, it does get dark and it is cold, kind of like a cave. All right, we're going to do this and then in a few days, we're going to see if there's any changes to our beans. If you have any questions, always remember you can go back to your directions to see and look what your goal is to explore what seeds need to grow. So we want to find out what the seeds need to grow. So far we've taken seeds and we put them in some are wet and one is dry. Then we've taken seeds and we're going to put three of them in the window. Two wet and one dry are going to go into a sunny place. Another bean is in the Winnie the Pooh cabinet where it's dark, but it's at room temperature. All right, and then remember, it's going into the other one. The last one well, it is in my refrigerator where it is cold and it's mostly dark. All right, see you in a few days.